Um, so I was working in a college of education in uh, Oxford at the time, Westminster College, training teachers, again for primary uh, teaching, and I had, was lucky enough to um, have a secondment to work in a local primary school in Ensham in 1984-1985 uh, when I found myself with what we then called upper juniors, now year six, year five and year six, um, teaching my enthusiasm, which was history, and the BBC Doomsday Project uh, was launched. Now, um, I found this a little bit scary at the time, to be honest, because uh, we had a BBC uh, computer in the classroom which uh, required all the programming to be loaded through um, a cassette machine and it only required uh, one of the children to press the wrong key on the keyboard and you'd lost the program and had to start again. Um, that, that was a, a problem in my experience. But um, the BBC Doomsday Project was launched uh, with the idea to celebrate the 900th anniversary uh, of uh, the Doomsday Book. And uh, we were with our children in the primary school uh, to explore the local area and to record the history of our uh, local area and the way it looked and the way it worked and the way people were uh, 900 years on from doomsday. So uh, from my point of view as a historian the great thing was being able to get outside the classroom and to be taking the children to visit, for example, the local sewerage works, you know, which hadn't been on the curriculum before. Um, but going and talking to people about the work they were doing, uh, recording the way in which uh, people were employed in the local community, uh, recording the houses that they were living in. And what was very special about this, I think, was that the children had a sense that they were doing something that was part of a national project. And they were doing something that was real, that was going to be, their data was going to be fed into the computer and was going to be read by people uh, across the country. Um, and not only that, but their data, what they wrote about their village, was going to be read by people in perhaps 800 and 900 years' time. Um, now, the doomsday data was all recorded on uh, a, a video disc system which was very experimental at the time which I think ironically only lasted a few years but uh, I believe the data has been rescued so that um, the, the children can be fairly confident that their belief that what they wrote uh, and the photographs that they took would be still available in hundreds of years time. That was really, I think, the, one of the essential ingredients that the, the computer was the way, obviously, of harnessing the data and feeding it into a, a national database. Um, but uh, for the children, it was that sense of speaking to an audience that was much wider than the audience normally for their work uh, what they wrote in their books would be looked at by me um, and commented on. It may be looked at by their parents, but it went no further. And it was that idea of doing something that was um, talking to a wider audience. Also, by doing it for the BBC, there was this sense that they were um, producing something real. Um, the BBC as a national broadcaster, they were engaged in something that was absolutely uh, real and was going to result in a kind of tangible product.